guys, how you doing today? Um, this is my Crocanthus Urstar, and she is in the Bromelade family. She is very, very cute. I got her, um, oh, I don't know, two years ago, I think, on clearance at, it was either Walmart or Lowe's. And she looked about half dead, but I figured for a buck, I would get it and try it. Well, she has been, I moved her from a clay pot in a west window into a terrarium. And um, she did really well. She liked being in my west window. She also liked being in the terrarium. Um, okay, sorry about that. I had a bunch of people walking by talking. But anyway, she liked being in um, the west window. She also liked being in the terrarium. But if you watched my last video, or whatever video it was, because I've been repotting so many plants and doing so many videos, I don't know what's, which is what <laughs> anymore. But anyways, um, as you can see, she has, there is, well first, let's, let's cut this dead stuff off. It'll be easier to see her getting all those dead stuff cut off here. It'll be easier for me to show you. There we go. That looks better. Oh, there's another one. Okay, but as you can see here, at least I hope you can, she's got one, two, three, and then there's another little one right down here, four. Oh, and there's another one. Five. Oh crap, I just broke it off. Well, I don't know if that one will make it or not, because she is awfully little. Because you're not supposed to cut the babies off of the mama until, like, see this size? This is a baby that she grew. She can come off. She should make it on her own. She'll grow her own roots. I'm going to lay her over here. And they say usually... If you want to remove the babies, wait until they're about a third of the size of the mother. And like, here's another one. And I'm just gonna, if it comes off, yep, she came off. But the other ones, I'm gonna leave. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the sleeve off. try to take some of this off here but this is a beautiful plant um, and they're related to bromelades but the only difference with these are uh, these are actually actually a terrestrial type of a bromelade um, the other bromelades do grow roots but they're not really for soaking up you know water and nutrients they are for clinging on to trees and rocks and what have you. Where these, their roots, since they're terrestrial, they, they are for soaking up water and nutrients. So you do want to plant these, make sure that you're planting them um, in a nice, rich, uh, well-draining soil and that you're feeding them. So what I'm going to do is clean this up get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of my little baby over here. I'm going to set these guys off. Um, they do like a higher temperature <clears throat> where they grow, you know, better in a higher temperature anywhere between 60 and up. Um, they do like an indirect light, but, you know, you know, a lot of people in the south <coughs> plant these right outside, so you want to, wouldn't want them to be out in the sun. 
But what I'm going to do with her is, I thought it would look really cool if, let me move. Sorry, I had to stop that again. A bunch of kids went by and they're having fun riding their bikes and riding skateboards. But anyways, what I would like to do is I want to put her in this terrarium. And it's just like a big wine goblet actually. It was something my mom gave me many years ago. I want to see. I think, yeah, I think they'll, I think they'll all fit in here. So, what I'm going to do is, I already got my stone down, that should be plenty, I've got a little more here, I think I'm going to put just a little bit more over here, around the side, oh now here goes the dog, she hears me making a racket. such a great guard dog. <laughs> okay. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to put like a whole ton of soil in here because I kind of want them to stay in. So I am just going to pour that in. The roots don't get massive, so I might make this side like a little higher for to put the babies. Let's see here. I'll figure this out as I go. Build that up and then I think I'll put the babies in first. I'm just gonna kind of lay, get her laid in here. Like that. And then stick the other one down here. Like that. And then this little teeny one that I accidentally knocked off that I didn't want to. I don't know if she'll make it or not. But we will see. And then I've got <clears throat> I've got a little bit of moss and I'm just gonna kind of lay it. This is just moss out of my yard. I'm just going to kind of lay it down in there. I want to tuck some behind, a little bit behind it here. And put another piece right down here. I love moss. It was so pretty. And then I'm going to take I've just got a few rocks. I'm going to kind of set them in there. Yeah. Okay, now for can you guys see? babies. Now I want to take her and it needs just a little more soil because she does have pretty nice roots. So I'm just going to kind of dig a little hole right here and I think she will have to go I wish I had a, um, oh, here, this is my word. Oh. Work with what you got, right? 
<laughs> Just kind of placing the soil up. Shoot, I wanted to wipe down the inside of that glass before I got my plants in there. They got it. Oh well. Ugh. I always forget something. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I just want to put, I want to put some more moss. I'm going to start over here. On the side, and then I can push her back. Can you guys hear the kids over there playing? We have a small playground um, across our street, across the street, kind of diagonally. It's summertime, and the kids love going over there. There's really not like a whole, whole lot for them to do. There's a little bit of swing set, and there's a basketball court. Oh, that noise. Oh, my God. And then there is a um, small tennis court. So, they skateboard over there and ride their bikes back and forth and have fun. Right now I'm just tucking, I'm trying to tuck the moss around, getting her to hold, stand up, and it looks like she's standing up pretty good. And then it looks like I need a little more moss right here. And looks like right here too. I like using the moss just primarily because I think it's pretty and I love it. So, and I like to put the rocks in too. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. Oh my god, that noise. Ugh. There, hopefully that'll stop. But I think I wish I had um some more. Oh, I got a few in here. They're just like uh, river rock. I'm gonna sprinkle some of them in there, and because that's something else I like. So. I like to use them. I just think they look pretty. Here's another one. I've got more in the house, but <laughs> I don't feel like going in there. I tried to bring, I always try to bring everything out that I think I'm gonna need. And my husband said the other day, well, why don't you just, if you're going to repot plants, why don't you just repot them in the house where all your stuff's at? And I was like, yeah, but I don't want to make a mess on there again. I made a mess on there all winter <laughs> when I was repotting. I mean, which was fine. Jeez, whether I was making videos or not, um, you know, I'd be, I'd be making a mess, so it's not that big of a deal. But you, you know, you try to think ahead and think, oh, okay, what am I going to need? Oh, here's another one. That one's a pretty one. So, I think what I'm going to do is, um, keep her out here on the front porch for a while. And, ooh, the glare. See how she likes it out here. I'll probably put her over here somewhere on my west side. And I'm going to keep an eye on this little tiny baby that I accidentally pulled out. But usually what I do um, 
when I water is I just soak my pot down. Like two years ago, I had her in a terracotta pot. Um, oh, I forgot to feed her. I'm going to sprinkle some worm castings in here. Because they do like to eat. Like the other bromelids, you, you know, you don't have to really feed them. So, at least mine I don't. I mean, every once in a while, because um, those you feel like the vase, the middle, I call it a vase, you call it a vase. And every once in a while, I'll squirt. Sorry. Outside truck. I'll squirt uh, fish fertilizer if I'm out, you know, fertilizing my other plants. I'll give her a little bit of first fish fertilizer if I can speak. Talking is so hard. Um, but that's it. And I, I don't make it like a routine or a habit. I mean, she might get it maybe, you know, once a month when I have her hanging outside. But in the house, I usually don't. Not that I can remember. I probably do on accident or whatever. But anyways, um, that is her. I know it's going to be hard to see from the side with the glare, but... And then all I'll do is... is Take my sprinkling can or a glass of water. Here, I'll show you. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just dump a little bit of water down in here. And that's it. She could probably use, I'm trying to see if I, yeah, I see a little bit of water on the bottom where I put the stones down. So I'll wait and see if she needs any more, but you just want your soil to stay moist. And in here, it will stay moist a long time. So I shouldn't have to water her. And if she ends up not liking it in here and I see any issues, um, I'll just take them out. Like these little ones may not like it in here. I don't know. But I think it looks cute. I love this little jar that my mom gave me. Um, it reminds me of a huge brandy sniffer. Can you imagine? Oh. <laughs> but anyways, guys, that is it. I am the care of them. <clears throat> like I said, it is super simple. Um, so... If you guys see one, like I said, I got mine at Lowe's a couple years ago. Get one and try it. They're super pretty. There's different kinds. This one is called Earth Star. They've got red ruby red or red ruby or something like that. There's like several different kinds. They got like a chocolate one, which I'd love to see. But um, I don't know. This one might be the ruby red because it, it got really red. Maybe it changed as maybe it's just because of the light I had it in or something but I don't know you guys know me I don't really care about names I'm just about growing the plants but I know you guys like to know so I try to find out um but that is it guys you have a great day I will talk to you later bye peace